bad news for San Francisco's economic recovery, a huge office complex is losing a major tenant. The San Francisco Chronicle is reporting Google is leaving its office space at one market plaza next year. Joining us live to talk about her scoop, Chronicle reporter Laura Waxman. Hi, Laura. Good to see you. Hi, Kristen. Nice to see you. Yeah, hey, you were first to report this. By the way, which office building is Google leaving exactly? And where is it? What's its significance? So this is One Market Plaza. It's a three-building office complex at the waterfront. So it has stunning views of the bay, and it's one of those buildings that's, just, that's considered a trophy building in San Francisco. So the best quality, high caliber and office building. Right, because it's at the foot of market there, right? It's You're right, it's got a commanding presence. How much office space are we talking about? And how many people? I mean, this is not layoffs, right? They're just putting them elsewhere, or what's happening? So, correct. So given that Google has over a million square feet of office space in San Francisco, uh -huh. this is a small office. It's 300,000 square feet. But, you know, in the context of what's going on in the city, um, with many companies giving up space, it really adds to this vacant space that we have, this set of vacant space. So, you know, it's it's a, it's a small-ish office. They're consolidating their workforce. They have mm -hmm. multiple other offices in the city, and that's their plan for now. Right, because they said, quote, this is from your article, that they are committed to our long-term presence in San Francisco. Uh, I'm wondering how they will do that, maintain their long-term presence when they are pulling back like this. And I think what this shows, that's a great question. I think what this shows is that a lot of companies are still figuring it out. So we've seen many companies give up space, but there are so many more like Google, one of the biggest tech companies you know, in the world that um, still hasn't quite made its decision yet of how much space will we occupy moving forward with work from home, with people not coming in um, at the same rate that they used to. Right, right, because a lot of people are still working from home, right? So you don't need as much space. I, I've been into that space before, by the way, and had lunch there once. It's beautiful. Um, okay, so we'll see, right, if they find another tenant, they get out, what, next April, next year? They got one year to find a ten tenant? That's right. So the, the building is still about 90% occupied, which is high. Yeah. But, you know, Google lease will be a chunk of space that will be vacant. And Visa, which was also a huge tenant in that building, has already left. They moved oh. to Mission Rock. Mm -hmm. They've also given up a big block of space. So vacancy in the building is growing. Okay, well, a business tax overhaul could be up for a vote this November in San Francisco, and its supporters say it could bring workers back to the office, which, of course, is part of the problem, right, uh, as far as the real estate spaces. Tell us, what, is that a big deal? It, it's a huge deal, especially for San Francisco, which has seen you know business taxes increase in recent years and is known to have a very complicated business tax structure. So the city right now is, you know, everyone's kind of putting their heads together. This is a proposal that is supported, it seems, across the aisle. Mm -hmm. We'll see because this has just been introduced. Um, but this should make a dent, although some people do say it doesn't go far enough because it does raise taxes for some of those middle-sized businesses. So the large ones will see their rates, you know, kind of spread out and, and uh, decreased, and then the middle-sized businesses will see increases. Right, but the middle ones, I think some of the ones I'm thinking of are in retail and biotech. Um, I mean, you want them, too. I mean, that could hurt downtown, right, if they're impacted. I imagine it's really hard to strike that balance, right? Mm. It's like the small businesses have been struggling in the wake of the pandemic. They're still getting back on their feet. They have a lot of debt. And uh, the big businesses are the ones that are bringing in the huge tax dollars. So how do we how do we kind of keep everybody, um, I guess, happy and, and yeah. at the table? I know that's the struggle downtown. But meanwhile, uh, there's good news on the other side of the city, the west side, right around Stonestown Mall. Exciting stuff happening there. Tell us about it. Glad you brought that up. It's nice to talk about good news in the city. So there's actually a retail center on the south side of San Francisco that's not only flourishing, but will also move ahead as a redevelopment plan. Um, so tomorrow the Planning Commission is voting on the Stonestown Mall redevelopment by Brookfield. And that plan is to bring over 2,000 new homes to the Stonestown Mall, redevelop it, make it kind of an open air retail plaza, you know, with housing and transit and everything. And that's one of the very few mega projects that's actually moving forward in the wake of the pandemic. Yeah, that area is hopping. Look, we have 20 more yeah. seconds, so we don't really have time to get into. I know you also reported on something exciting in Hayes Valley, a multi-generational tech campus. Um, we'll talk about that another time. But Laura Waxman, it's always great to have you on. You always got great information for us. Thanks for having me.